Well, right here got a not so shocking story: the abortion lobby, the pro-abortion lobby, once again proving the uh, proving themselves to be the lawless thugs that they are. When you get when you really get down to the truth of the matter, the pro the pro uh, pro-abortion lobby, you know, they call it pro-choice, the pro-abortion lobby, are just a bunch of violent lawless lawless thugs. And stuff like this proves that. So here's the article. This is on uh, a jihadwatch.org. Uh, it says here, 23, uh, 23 sorry, pro-life organizations firebombed, vandalized by pro-abortion activists. Uh, as pro-lifers try to protect the unborn from violence, they find themselves in the pathway of leftist violence. And if it isn't Antifa being violent, it's Black Lives Matter being violent, or leftists aligned with pro-Palestinian activists and violence, campuses and beyond. But uh, complicit left, leftist mainstream media zeroes in on two specific days in the space of four years to attack the right. The Charlottesville protests in January 6th, where in both incidents Antifa was involved, while now violence is being directed at pro-life organizations by pro-abortion activists. Yeah, that's that's the funny thing. So, you know, when Char I, I remember when Charlottesville happened, I, I was seeing, I was watching CNN, I was watching the news when the whole thing happened, and like literally, I, I remember it was like three weeks after it happened, I was still hearing about it just non-stop from the media. Like I remember it happened on August 12th. I, I went to see my grandparents like about three weeks later and I was still hearing about it constantly on, on TV. Just it, they would not go, they would not just close their mouths about it. Oh, and then when January 6th happened, oh man, that was, that was, that was like your big break. I mean, I'm, I still hear about that thing now. I'm still hearing about January 6th now, all, almost two years later, you know, it's insanity. Yet they forget that not only in Charlottesville were the Antifa, they, and, and by the way too, no, I'm not, I'm not alt-right. No, I'm not a neo-Nazi. No, I'm not siding with the Nazis or whatever else. But you look at the video, Antifa was clearly the ones who were at fault and who were the ones who instigated the violence. You see, I'm for, I'm a free speech absolutist and the Nazis, they had the permit to march at the rally. They had the permit to, to hold that rally. They were legally protected by the law. And of course, Antifa doesn't like free speech, so they attempted to hinder their freedom of speech, you know, and that's what happened. And they, they started fights. But then when January 6th happened, that was, they went nuts over that. But it's funny because a couple months prior to January 6th, 2021, you had BLM rioting and destroying cities and burning down cities all summer long. And then, you know, the media just doesn't cover that. But yet, when January 6th happened, they just obsessed over that. So it shows they have an agenda. But that, that was free, by the way. That was my little tangent was free. But continuing on, continuing on in the article. Recall in Canada that even though tens of thousands turned out in Ottawa to support the Freedom Convoy, Liberal Prime Minister Justin Trudeau steer, stirred fears of violence and referenced Freedom Convoy protesters as racist, misogynist, and even terrorists. But, but instead, peaceful, freedom-loving, law-abiding citizens chanted freedom, engaged in prayer, distributed food, and set up bouncy castles for kids in freezing cold temperatures. Leftists are more readily to employ violence when searching for incidents of violence among the right. Most pro-abortion pro supporters are on the left. Even the leftist publication Politico published an article entitled, If you're a pro-life Democrat, you know you're standing alone. Though Biden campaigned on unity, he has not condemned a single one of the acts, attacks on pro-life organizations. Yeah, that's the fun thing. Biden's, oh, we're, we're all about unity. We're going to bring them all together. Yet he's completely silent in the face of not only these black supremacist attacks, but pretty much anyone, you know, like uh, Antifa or anything like these pro-abortion lobby. Whenever it comes to their violence, oh, he's, he's silent on that. You know, whenever it comes to a shooting by a left winger, oh, it's silent on that. But when a white supremacist does a shooting at a grocery store, oh man, you know, he, wouldn't, he would just want to shut up about that. You know, violence from the pro-abortion lobby goes uncovered by the media. But then if, if a white supremacist shoots up a store, oh man, that's just non-stop coverage. It's, it's, a, it's garbage and it's clearly an agenda being pushed. So don't be deceived by all the propaganda out there. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.